Hello everyone, I'm Dragon Whelp and welcome back to No Man's Sky. When we last left off, we were having a little problems with the ship being laggy when you get into it. Well, there was an update last night, or this morning, uh, whenever you watch this. And uh, they fixed a lot of things. Uh, they fixed a lot of game crashes and uh, I'll leave a link down to the patch notes. But uh, hopefully, it's, so far it's working. So what we're going to do is we're going to continue on. And we're going to go do the transmission tower that the uh, scientist gave us to complete some of his questing to see how far we can get as far as new technologies and stuff that we can build for our base. And it looks like it's going to be a minute away, so I'll see you when we get there. Here we are. Oh boy. Ow. Okay, apparently I've scanned everything over here. Let's save. Let's get to this waypoint. That way, not only do we save, but we also get money for finding it. There we go. Let's get inside this building. Is anybody home? Anybody home? Hello? No, I don't see anybody. And that orb is stuck in the table. All right, let's go to the transmission tower. My assistant was right. A sequence of numbers still plays out from the tower in the endless loop. The signal has been broadcast for so long that the numbers are burnt into the screen. A light flashes in, uh, incessantly. Examine controls. Hesitantly, I tried the controls of the unf unfamiliar device with the first button I touch. Uh, copper wire requires Rigogin. Okay, so I guess we go back to see him now. Wonder where we find this rig again. I wonder if it's something similar. What are these blue lights over here? Oh, Entrium. And get some of that. Who knows, we might need some more later. Yeah, it feels so good not having that massive lag spike when you enter your ship. So, let's head back to base. If I can find it, there we go. So actually, let's go into atmosphere this time, speed things up a little bit. Because you go faster while in the upper atmosphere. Oh yeah, a lot faster. Hopefully the scientist will tell us where this Rigogin is from. So that way we can go out and possibly find some and make this whatever he needs. And I like the, the location of this base. It's, it's in like a mountainous area, which is kind of cool. Wonder if I can make myself a la landing pad and learn to land on it. That would be awesome too. All right, Mr. Scientist. Oh, uh, one thing I was doing last episode is uh, I was talking to this guy and he gave me gave me another quest, but I didn't take it. But we're going to take it this episode. He says, I need to make your way to a nearby abandoned building. When you reach the abandoned terminal, 
uploaded schematics to me with a storage container you'll be have more space for more items all right a growing base needs good inventory uh, storage I asked my builder to provide a design but instead they offer me a shortcut if I travel to an abandoned building nearby I should be able to salvage the plans for suitable storage container module I will investigate coordinates have been added to my map all right let's go up and talk to our scientist see if uh, we did his thing and, and see what he can give us non furious plate is the foundation of many technologies once enforced with candensium from an active uh, from radioactive plants would be ideal for purpose for your purposes you can find it in radioactive biomes but beware you will need a hazmat gauntlet to handle the leaves uh, the presence of all rounder of my team is unlocking many possibilities. Each new discovery leads to another inspiration. Their latest innovation is a strong non ferrous plate suitable for all manners of technology. But to, refi but to refine the design, I must venture into the inhospitable radioactive environment for a supply of cadenzium. Notably, I will need a hazmat gauntlet. I should consult an armorer before handling the plant. So that means we're going to need an armorer. So that's we need to go find somebody that uh, can do said things. So let's go to let's go out this this door over here. Get to our ship and uh, let's head to the waypoint that the guy has given us and uh, see if we can't do it by getting us a storage container. That sounds like awesomeness plus the more quests we do and the more things we do for these guys the more stuff we get unlocked and once we get all the stuff unlocked or get a good majority of it unlocked there may be a possibility that we get things that we need to to further improve our own ventures come on did I hit the island yeah I did We can't land in the water, unfortunately. But we can swim to it. And yeah, there was an update uh, in the update that happened today or yesterday. A lot of people were having problems with underwater buildings not having any doors. So they couldn't actually get into it to save or complete the quest. They have fixed that. Access this terminal. Analyze schematics. Yes. All right. Ten items learned. Goodness. Yep, we need to head back to the surface. Like, super fast. We're gonna drown if we don't. There we go. All right, let's head back to base. Wow, taking off and all this is, is really eating through my plutonium. We may have to go farming. I'll go do a lot of farming off camera for it, but... At least this was close by. It wasn't, like, super, super far away. Because our base is just right here. Good thing I put this door over here, so that way we can enter from this side as well. Hello! This 
There's no need to build a giant generator when the individual batteries will meet all our requirements. Ask a scientist about volatile cells. They're compact, portable, and powerful. Bring me one to, and I'll incorporate into weapons terminal design. Yeah, that's exactly what we need. Though they never, ne though they never complain, I know my builder would enjoy a large team of uh, team to work with. They have made it quite clear they prefer company. I will raise the issue with my suspicious. Or if my suspicions are confirmed. My builder suggests recruiting an armorer, and sets about a, preparing the design for a weapons terminal. But the basis generator are stretched even now, so ex uh, expansion will even find a reliable alternative power source, perhaps a volatile cell. Yeah, we already learned how to do that from a scientist. Let's give him to him. Yes. We now learned how to do a weapons terminal. Yes. My question is, though, can I build underground? Will it allow me to build underground? No, I guess not. I can build upwards, though. Uh-oh. Press F. There we go. There's... So, let's get a ladder going in here. There we go. Now, my question is... Oh, okay. It's just as easy as that. Oh, and we need also upload this. Okay. So it's like if we're coming from the bottom floor and we want to get off at that at the scientist room, we just turn around and well jump off, I guess. Or jetpack up, that works too. And you're still waiting for cad uh, cadencium. So let's get up here and let's build the the specialist terminal, um, the weapons terminal, and we're all going to have them all on the same wall. So that way there's no question of where they are in the room versus where the ladder is. The weapons terminal requires a skilled armor for operations. You can recruit some armors and space stations with Viking controlled systems. So we're going to have to go to a Viking system in order to recruit. We've already been to a Gek system, which is this is a Gek. We've already been to a Corvax system because, ta-da, that guy's a Corvax. So apparently we need to go to a Viking system, which that's probably going to take a while. And hopefully I can I can manage it. Otherwise I'd have to go backwards because we did we did meet up with some Viking in previous um, previous sectors. But right now our, our base comp, uh, operations is practically done unless we want to go find the gauntlet, which we need the armor for a gauntlet, and then we need a Viking. So it's kind of eluded in ways. So what we're going to do is we're probably just going to start with next episode. We're going to start with going on the main mission. I'm going to go check out the spatial anomaly or the space anomaly, find out what it is. But we'll do that all in next episode. So thank you everybody for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up. And until next time, see you later.